Carol ISD Jazz Band played it proud in the House of Swing. The band just returned from a weekend in New York, where they performed as a finalist in the Essentially Ellington High School Jazz Band Competition and Festival. My name is Peter Thayer. I play trumpet for the Carol Jazz Band. Uh, I'm Charlotte. What instrument do you play? Uh, Barry sax and clarinet. I play the piano. Jazz piano. Woo. I'm, a, I'm a blues player, but I like jazz. In the program's 15 years, Carol ISD has been invited to play Essentially Ellington twice, a high honor considering the level of talent that participates in the annual competition. One of the only national high school jazz competitions that there is, period. So it's a really great opportunity for these students to have one shot at, at playing and comparing themselves uh, with other high schools around the country. Carroll Jazz Band Director David Lowne and his 18-member student jazz band arrived in New York May 7th, accompanied by parent chaperones and Carroll ISD Band Director Ron Behrens. The kids are ready. Uh, Mr. Lowne has them in great shape. They're focused, they're, but they're relaxed. For this, for this level of competition, they're doing quite well. Rehearsing it for, you know, intensely for several weeks before now. The first day of the event, Jazz at Lincoln Center inside Frederick P. Rose Hall, was filled with rehearsals, clinics, and workshops, all under the direction of JALC Artistic Director, Wenton Marsalis. The Grammy Award-winning artist participated in a one-on-one -on -one question and answer session. The first evening ended with a jam session, where students from competing bands had the opportunity to perform with members of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. Part one of the competition began on day two of the festival in the Rose Theater where the 15 finalists performed before a packed house. Welcome to Jazz at Lincoln Center's 15th annual Essentially Ellington High School Jazz Band Competition and Festival. A panel of judges led by Marcellus would select three winning bands. Carol was in the first group scheduled to play. This is the Carol Senior High School Jazz Band 1 from South Lake, Texas. group played three songs with precision and soul. Some of their selections included the most difficult jazz scores to perform. tune I just would like to briefly briefly thank Winton and Jazz at Lincoln Center and, and uh, we are so grateful to be here we're gonna conclude with a great one this is a uh, diminuendo and crescendo in blue by Duke Ellington At the end of the first competition, the Carroll Jazz Band made its way out of the venue and back to the hotel for a night in the Big Apple. I think we did well. I'm proud of the kids. They're just, they're just kids having a great time doing some incredible stuff. Everyone in the group was pleased with their performance. More, more jamming. Right, Blake? Blake's the man. I did have fun. It was a great experience. Essentially, Ellington is named after Duke Ellington, American composer, pianist, and big band leader. A large focus of this festival is placed on his music. Ellington is a prominent figure in the history of jazz, one of many talents honored in Rose Hall. On the third and final day of Essentially Ellington, the remaining schools performed, then the judges adjourned to compare notes and declare three festival winners. When a decision was reached, all schools returned to Rose Hall to hear the announcement. Tell the people who are dedicated to swing, it makes, it justifies what we are trying to do. So we want to thank you. 
The Carol Jazz Band wasn't selected a winner, but received special honors. The band's brass was named Outstanding Section, and sophomore Stephen Falkenberg was awarded Outstanding Bass Sound. Immediately following the announcement, the winning bands rushed to the Lincoln Center's Avery Fisher Hall for an evening performance. Fisher Hall is the home stage of the New York Philharmonic. Essentially, Ellington finalists, including the Carol Jazz Band, attended the final performance that capped an inspiring weekend of music and mentorship, an experience these extraordinary talented students won't soon forget. This video feature was made possible by OurGreatCity.com. Carol ISD would like to thank OurGreatCity.com for their assistance. OurGreatCity.com is a proud Dragon sponsor.